I kind of feel Fengwei was a dark horse for a while until a certified con consummate player picks a character up and then it's kind of proven and people fall. Yeah, a lot of people think that, oh, Ni put Fengwei on the radar. Fengwei was put on the radar by Kuiper when he beat Arslan at We Play in April of 2021. So what is that? That's a year and four months prior to Ni winning Evo. I made a video called Fengwei is a hidden monster, a Dark Horse character, 10 months ago. I started discussing this. And multiple top players, including Ni, put Fengwei in top 10 like a year ago. Prior to Evo, do you know how Arslan rated Feng? Top 3 only behind the 2d characters that was prior to evo so i feel like those of you are saying like oh why are you bringing this up right now just because this has been discussed for well over a year so i'm certainly not late to to the party you know and most top players have been well aware of his strength uh since well over a year ago kuiper beat arslan kuiper goes to to Pakistan to train with Arslan and the boys. And Arslan full on understands how strong Feng Wei is. So this is nothing new. Uh, and then there's, you know, people saying, but Feng Wei was always like this. H how come you feel he's so strong now? He's been like this since season one. And that is uh, not the case. This character fundamentally changed in season four and I, i'm gonna cover that but one can start by saying that feng Wei was always known to have like really good pokes right and buttons very strong poker very strong evasion like the, these tools have always been seen as, as really strong right but to sort of counter this, he had some of the worst combos in the game. He would do something like this and get very little wall travel. Uh, this is due to very weak screw options. Ford 1 plus 2, one of the least flexible screw moves in the game with terrible recovery. And same with Dambak 1 4, but has a big delay between first and second hit. And second hit is a high with a very bad hitbox. So Feng Wei, in a game where everyone got almost infinite wall travel and combo ability, Feng Wei was certainly below average. Bad combos. Didn't get the wall very often. This, of course, completely changed with Season 4 when he got this move. So saying that... And suddenly he got like an Armor King type, down back 2-4 uh, screw attack. It, this, this move that everyone was like, wow, this is not so good, what is this? Made high well duck the second hit, well that wasn't the point. This was to give him modern Tekken combos. So for example, down for 3 staple used to be a very clunky combo. This. Which is very awkward to do. Very awkward and not very strong. Turned into this. And now I'm almost at the wall. This completely changes Feng Wei. Suddenly he gets the wall way more often. His combos are way more flexible. And now he gets the wall into this, this. And this is also something that happened in season four. They buffed his shoulder. And again, this is for 13 frame punish. It went from 30 to 33 damage. But also what people don't really factor in is that when you buff that move, you basically buff his back one. You basically buff his Kempo. You, ba you, you buff his already stupid wall combo. And all of that adds up. And then, of course, in Season 4, they also overbuffed uh, Downback 3. Th this move, people don't remember, but this move was buffed in Season 3. 
it went from tw 12 damage to 14. That added 2 damage to, to a low that's very evasive, extremely fast, and has a lot of reach. But then what happens in Season 4, they gave it a counter hit throw property. 36 damage. So just to give you an idea of the damage boost here on counter hit, if I do a shoulder, boom, 33 damage. If I counter it with a shoulder, 39. So that is 18% more damage, right? The damage difference between Dombek 3 on normal hit and Dombek 3 on counter hit, uh, what, it goes from 14 to 36. That's 22 more damage. That comes out to 257%. So it adds 157%. That's way more than double. Uh, and th this is not exclusive to Feng Wei. Uh, you have this on King uh, Ford Ford Neutral 2. It goes to a throw on counter it. Marduk has Core Circle Ford 2. I'm not making up, up that percentage. It comes out to 257%. Uh, I tried this. I uh, tested that earlier. Or did that calculation er earlier. So it adds a considerable oh. amount of damage uh, on a move that was already like super good. But what it also does is it, it gives you a very stupid Oki situation you'll see top players get the most out of. Blam! If they do anything but just stay on the ground here, anything, boom, that connects for 9 more. So now we're at 45 damage. The only way they can dodge that is if they stay perfectly still. Perfectly still. And this is where he can do this for a grounded hit or plus 8, right, on block. Or if it counter hits, well, you, you just kill the opponent, right? They're dead. Uh, so down back 3 also cannot be overstated what a gigantic buff this was. Uh, and in Season 3, he got a lot, a lot of uh, punishment buffs, frames on these, frames on, on that. that. That went from, what, plus 3 to plus 5, I think. Uh, they buffed his parry in Season 4. It got two more active frames. They buffed while standing 2. Uh, his while standing 1. gifted a tier 1 sub to read true underscore. They have given 1,134 gift subs Jesus. in the I owe you my life, Banana. Thank you. This while standing one was made one frame faster. Went from 14 to 13. And they added this counter it property. This knockdown. Like, there's a ton of changes on Feng Wei for Season 3. Really, really big buffs. But believe me, Season 4 was a game changer. With this buff, this buff, but more than anything, he joined the combo party. I can't stress enough how important it is to have big combos in Tekken 7, because it is a combo fiesta. And he couldn't keep up with everyone else with these, right? That was the big weakness. And then the developers were like, screw it, he gets an amazing screw. Amazing screw. And suddenly, Feng Wei, like everyone else, has a ton of wall travel, much more damage, much, much more flexible in his combos. And now he gets the wall way more often for his busted wall combo that was also buffed indirectly due to the damage increase of back one too. Oh, and his demon paw in season one, this one, even in season two, this was unsafe at minus 10. Minus 10. So they buffed that to make it safe. You really have to go back and look at the patch notes. Those, those of you who believe he was the same character in Season 1 and 2 and even Season 3, he wasn't. There is a reason he really made his presence known in Season 4. And what you also have to take into account is that Feng Wei 
goes through this transformation, gets all of these amazing buffs, right? At the same time as the, the, the competition, the top 10, they just kept getting nerfed ever since, since season three. Nerf, nerf, nerf. Leroy, Fakum Ram, uh, Steve, a lot of notable nerfs, Geese, you know, they all get slapped on the wrists. He has just been on a rocket going up instead. And this reached its climax with uh, the latest patch, 5.0, where yet again, the DLCs in top 10, they get nerfed pretty hard, many of them. He was pretty much left unchanged. And again, I can't stress enough like how this this was not a surprise or came out of the blue with Nii winning EVO. Again, I stressed this 10 months ago, right? As did Nii. Uh, and Arsan, prior to EVO, rated him as top 3, only behind the 2D characters. And that was uh, uh, pre-patch. How do you think Arsan is going to rate Feng now? You think when everyone else has been nerfed. So, uh, so again, uh, why now? Well, this has been talked about for well over a year. So it's not a surprise. It was, it seems to be a surprise to a lot of people, but again, this has been talked about for a long time. Uh, and again, I hope I also answered the question of, but he's always been like this. He's always, he was like this in season one and season two. Why complain now? I hope I made some good points and you see that he wasn't like this in season one and two. So again, he's been buffed a lot, significant changes, right? And the other characters, the hardcore offenders, the top 10, they've been coming down as Feng Wei has been coming up. That's what's been happening. Uh, so I hope that was a good explanation.